Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm making a quick video to show you how to um how you can upload print job directly to Clipper Fluid or Clipper Main Cell um using Cura Slicer. I know Prusa Slicer already supports this and Super Slicer already supports this, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a pretty pretty easy to get this done. Um, someone has made a plugin for Cura to allow this process to happen. So I'm gonna show you the process pretty easy. Um, so you visit this uh, GitHub page. Um, it's basically um, it's called Cura to Moonraker plugin. Um, and um, so once you get there, it it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, this installation is straightforward. Um, just follow this installation. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, pretty straightforward to install, but I'm going to go through the steps just to show you what to do. It's pretty simple. Um, so you are just going to click on this zip file here. Once it downloads, you can extract it. I think I already extracted mine, but go to your download folder, um, extract it. Once it's extracted, just hit copy. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to your local disk. Um, we're going to go to program files. We're going to find Cura, whichever version you're using. I'm using 4.11 right now. Then you're going to go to plugins and then you're going to paste here. So you're just going to just literally paste the, the full folder. Once that's done, you're going to go to um, your uh, Cura. Once you open Cura, you, you're going to have the option. Usually you have save, but you're going to have another option where it says upload to Voron or whatever, whatever you name your printer. That's the option you're going to get. Um, but in order for you to do that before, you have to go to Manage Printer. You're going to, um, you're going to get this option called Connect to Moonraker. Usually you only have firm, uh, update firmware and machine settings, but now you get this Connect to Moonraker option. You're going to click on that and you're going to put the IP address of the Pi that you're using. So make sure you put the IP address of the Pi. You also have the option to include a UFP with thumbnail. Essentially, it takes a little uh, image of what you're printing and upload it with it as well so you can see what you're printing, uh, which is really nice. You're going to hit save config. That's it. That's literally it. And um, so once your print officially slices, you just click on upload to the printer and it will send the print job there and, you know, uh, print right away. So it's really convenient, really simple. Like I said, I did that in less than what <laughs> a minute or two. It's really that fast. Now for us, for Mac, I'm assuming it's the same way on Mac. It shouldn't be too different on Mac, but, um, it should, it should be essentially the same thing. So if I click on, for example, upload and I click on upload, it's going to process real quick. And like I said, see, now it give me that, that, um, the U UFP image. Now I can click on start. The print job so as soon as i hit upload and it hits the pie it's going to start that print job right away once you preheat if you don't preheat it's going to of course take its time to heat up and then print but if you already have a preheat which i usually recommend to preheat your printer once you hit upload it should just start immediately and um start doing this thing to print um if um but you can also uncheck this and just upload a print job like pre-upload a print job so when you know whenever you preheat you can just hit print from there and you're good to go so i just wanted to show you guys that um this feature is plugging real quick it's freaking awesome it has made my life much much easier with using cura and clipper before i had to save it or and upload it but now with this plugin i've been using it for months yeah, for some months now. I've been using this since last year. It's been out for a minute now. Um, and it's been great. Honestly, it's been 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 fantastic. So um 
But yeah, guys, I want to show you that. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember to like, subscribe, and I appreciate you guys. Peace out.